Boys and girls watching, please join us as we say our poem about the zoo. Class, stand and tell me about the zoo. Before they open up the gates to let the people in, do you suppose the animals must dress up in their skin? And if the zebra zipper stuck and penguin lost his vest, do you suppose the zoo would close till everyone was dressed? No. Good job, sit down. Oh. Go like this, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your nose, wiggle your chin, hands in your lap. Today's paper looks like we are at the zoo because we are going to write the letter Z. What does Z say? Z. Great job. So let's look right now at our paper and then we'll get started. Right at the top of the paper, you are going to trace the blue little Z. Then you will go down to the houses. You are going to trace in both houses little Z's and make your very own. When you finish both rows, then you may get out your crayons and color the zoo picture. Oh, it looks like the animals are trying to get out of the zoo. Color neatly. Then when you're done, you will turn your paper over. We have a second side. This side says we're going to circle the pictures that you hear the zzz sound. Let's look at our pictures. The first one is zipper. Say that. Zipper. Oh, did that make your tongue tickle? It did. It made my tongue tickle. So we're going to circle zipper. How about zebra? Zebra. Zebra. The next picture is a picture of a fish. 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 Would we circle fish? No. no. What does fish start with? F. F. So it's not going to be circled. And then the next one is a number. What number is that? Zero. Zero. Good. So you will circle the pictures that begin with the z sound. Then you will connect the dots to finish the pictures. When you're done using your pencil and doing your pencil work there, then you can color those pictures. Color the zipper, the fish, the zero, and the zebra. And then you will get out your pencil again and finish the houses doing all of your little z's. Now, we are doing more seat work, so you're not done. You still have two more pages to go. This next page, page three, has some pictures. I see a pig, but do you see a letter P to circle? No, no because we are looking for the vowel that you hear in the picture today. Pig, p -I pig. What vowel do you hear? Do you hear I or you? I. I. So you will circle the letter I. You need to say all of the pictures and then circle the letter that you hear. The next picture is a duck. 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 The next one is a bat. A bat. The next one is a fish. Say fish. fish. The next one is a box. box. And the last one is a cup. Then when you're done circling with your pencil, the letters that you hear, the vowels that you hear, then you can get out your crayons again and color. When you're done coloring those pictures, then you can get out your pencil again, connect the dots to do page number four. You're going to connect starting with the numbers and connect the dots to finish the picture. And then you may color that beautiful, beautiful butterfly. Let's look right here to show you how to make a letter Z. You're going to trace the letter Z's. You're going to start at the red dot. You're going to curve up to the dotted line, curve down to the pink carpet. Then you retrace just a little bit and curve around. You're going to go down into the basement, loop toward the houses, and cross over at the pink carpet. Let me show you how to make your very own. So eyes right here. I curve up to the dotted line and curve down to the pink carpet. Watch as I retrace just a little bit. Then I'm gonna make another little mountain, and then I go down into the basement, loop toward the houses, come up to the pink carpet, and cross over to make little Z. I know you're going to do a great job today on your paper. Don't forget all of your seat work. You have four pages to do. Do all of your pencil work, color neatly, and do your best today.